D1 will be the subject of this case study. They are a subsidiary of Stanley Black and Decker. Product category and industry. Stanley Black and Decker is the leading manufacturer of tools that are used in industrial applications, contractors, and do-it-yourself homeowners. They manufacture power tools like drills, hand tools for mechanical work, pneumatic nail guns, and a full line of accessories to complement tools like saw blades and drill bits. Their primary markets are in the United States, Canada, and Europe. They are based out of the United States in New Britain, Connecticut. They employ approximately 50,700 employees. Market Overview Stanley Black & Decker ranks number one in the power tool market. The brand name that they use is DeWalt, and they come in at 19.8%. Second is Tetronic Industries at 15.5, and the brand names they market are Ryobi and Milwaukee. Coming in third is Bosch at 11%, and their brand name is Bosch. Um, then you have Emerson Electric at 17.5%, and they promote Rigid. Hilti comes in, at 5.2% and their brand name and is Hilti and they promote Hilti. Snap-on Tools uh, is at 4.6% and surprisingly Makita is at 4.3%. Now we have others at 32% uh, which makes up a whole bunch of little uh, manufacturers of tools. External environment opportunities. Based on the top ranking uh, of the market share that Stanley Black & Decker holds on the Power Tool Makers ranking, which is number one, and the projected outlook of the global home building sector, Stanley is predicting a robust outlook for global home building, which is predicted to produce $3.1 billion in total revenue. Another opportunity that Stanley Black & Decker is capitalizing on is the entrance into the uh, fastening tool industry by acquiring Hong Kong-based Innofast in 2013. As a result, they, are, they now have a product line of pneumatic and cordless nail guns and is expanding Stanley Black & Decker's footprint in the tool industry. External environment threats. Since Stanley Black & Decker is so diverse and a globally operated company, they face a variety of threats in the marketplace. The first one is intense competition from its competitors. Second is the fluctuation of foreign currency because they operate in North America, Europe, Latin America, and Asia. Every day the currency exchange rate changes, it could impact Stanley Black & Decker's profitability. An example given in a case study I reviewed states that in 2013, Stanley lost approximately $16 million in transactional foreign currency. The third threat is the environmental impact. There are always new regulations concerning environmental laws and regulations here in the United States and in Europe. The fourth and final threat is higher labor cost. Stanley Black & Decker a couple of years ago decided to bring back all the manufacturing of their tools to the US so and they are the only power tool manufacturer to do this. What someone does is important. But why and how they go about it is even more important. So look closely, because when you get inside, down to the nitty gritty, that's when you find out what's really going on, what really makes a difference. 
That's when you realize that things like character and sweat and courage are just as critical as torque and runtime and capacity. You'll find DeWalt all over the planet, but our roots are right here. That's right, friend. Our outside may be yellow, but our inside, red, white, and blue. This is where our company was born, the place where we're bringing so much of our manufacturing back to, the place where so many of the people who make our unbeatable tools make them unbeatable. We are DeWalt. We're the ones who show up, the ones who crank down, the ones who grind it out, the ones using materials from all over the world to build the things that build America, right here in America. And there's no place we'd rather be. Land of the free, tools of the brave. Target segment. Stanley Black & Decker is the leader in power tool manufacturing. Their product line is compromised of tools for industrial use, commercial use, and do-it-yourself homeowners. Target markets. They provide a range of corded tools, rechargeable battery operated tools, pneumatic tools, hand tools, and a full line of accessories to complement their tools. In the corded tools, they have handheld power drills, grinders, saw saws, and shop saws. These are all electrical tools. In the rechargeable battery operated tools, DeWatt offers interchangeable batteries that can power drills, saw saws, chop saws, weed eaters, and even nail guns. The third section is hand tools. DeWatt offers an array of hand tools such as measuring tapes, utility knives, hand saws, and screwdrivers. And we have a couple of pictures here listed on the right-hand side. Then they also offer a array of complementary accessories to go with their tools, um, such as uh, blades for their shop saws, blades for their saw saws, drill bits for the drills, and even nails for their new pneumatic nail guns. Industrial Marketing Mix Product Strategy. I have listed eight items that DeWalt uses for product strategy. The first one is research. Product managers come out to the workplace to research how tools are performing, what improvement can be implemented. DeWalt also tries to implement the latest technologies in their power tools. They have recently incorporated brushless power tools and they have added Bluetooth capability to their batteries so that you can manage the battery life. That leads us to materials. DeWalt is using the best materials available for their products. They use the best carbide for their carbide tips, which has led to the innovation of 2X blades that you buy one blade and it's equivalent to buying two because of the life of that blade. They've also implemented ceramic in sandpaper, which is also uh, extends the life of the sandpaper. That leads us to brand reputation. Brand reputation is very important for DeWalt. Uh, they're big on protecting the brand 
and the brand is guaranteed tough. And they make sure the product lives up to the name. They also offer a one year service warranty on other products. Perform and Protect is a, another big push for DeWalt. Since all their tools are being used in chemical plants and construction sites, safety is very important. Value packing combos. What DeWalt tries to do is they try to package some of their tools. For example, you could go out and buy a hammer drill yeah, at the same time, you are given the regular drill. And usually the battery is interchangeable, so you end up with uh, two tools for the price of one. The last item on here is growth drivers, which allows introduction of new products. For example, the cordless miter saws. Dewalt is the only manufacturer that offers the cordless miter saws at this time. And they try to always come up with new tools every quarter. Industry marketing makes distribution. Stanley Black & Decker sells Dewalt through select independent distribution channels. Their objective is to protect the distribution channels and they sell to market distribution leaders such as Circle Saw and United Tool and Fasteners. Then they have a two-step program where membership is required uh, for warehouses and they sell to uh, small mom and pop stores like Ace Hardware. Then you have the retail end where a customer can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and buy their products through them. Finally, we have the online market and Amazon is the only online uh, company that is authorized to sell the Dewalt brand. An interesting uh, thing that I did find was that uh, you will not find Dewalt products sold in box stores like Target or Walmart. Industry marketing mix pricing. Dewalt would always have premium price on all its new products. It will run quarterly promotions to help support their distribution. Also, they use a tool called MAPP, MAP, Minimum Advertising Pricing Policy. Every quarter, DeWalt sets the MAP. And this will be followed throughout the distribution channel. Um, like I said earlier, you have Home Depot, you have Circle Saw, you have Lowe's, you uh, have Amazon.com, uh, and they have to follow these. Uh, another thing, that DeWalt does is they offer value position packaging uh, where you get a, the measuring tape and you get a free knife. You buy a drill, you get a free flashlight that's interchangeable with the drill. Um, price perception and, and competitive pricing. Uh, DeWalt tries to maintain its products uh, at the same price uh, as its competitors. Uh, and this is separate from the premium pricing that I discussed earlier because uh, this is when the product is no longer a new product. Market penetration uh, with lower grill price at $99. Uh, and that would be the, the drill you see here on the right hand side. If you notice, it doesn't have the XR label on it. So this is... Uh, a product is made for your do-it-yourself um, homeowner that occasionally uses a drill and uh, doesn't want to pay the higher price premium of the XR brand, but they want to buy a DeWalt. 
Industrial marketing makes promotion. Dewalt uses sporting events to promote brand awareness. They have teamed up with Golden Boy Promotions at boxing events, and I have attached a flyer on the right-hand side where you could see um, if you attended the event, you, um, you could win the Dewalt drills, the hand tools, uh, you could get a calendar that's sponsored um, by DeWalt, and there's a whole bunch of boxers on there. Uh, then you also have NASCAR. They teamed up with NASCAR, and there's also a picture on the lower right-hand corner of a NASCAR driver who just won. Uh, and as you can see, the car is labeled Stanley and DeWalt. Uh, that's one of, the, one of the ways they promote their brand. Then they also use online advertising, billboards, and they print. Uh, uh, they use social media. Uh, in the social media that they use, they use Facebook and Twitter. If you log on to their webpage, they have links to Facebook and Twitter on their um, web page. They also use uh, journals and trade magazines. Magazines like Wood Magazine, uh, uh, you can uh, open up the magazine and you'll see advertising on there of some of the tools that they offer. Uh, and the last thing on here is field marketing representatives. Uh, they have a service coordinator who goes out uh, on three, three uh, pl platforms. One is the local, regional, and national. So what they do is they'll do a local event at a store like Sokosol where they'll get they'll have giveaways when people show up. Then they have the the regional ones, which could be considered like uh, South region of of the United States or Texas, and they'll have uh, the same type of events on, on there. And then they'll run a national campaign through Home Depot or Lowe's. Product differentiation. Dewalt tries to set themselves apart with their three year, one year, 90 day money back guarantee. So they have a three year limited warranty on their products. They have a one year free service and they have a 90 day money back guarantee. Also, one of the advantages of buying Dewalt is that you don't have to register your product with the manufacturer. So if it does need to get serviced uh, and you didn't register it, there's no drawback for you as a Dewalt customer. But if you bought a drill from another manufacturer and you didn't register it, then you will not get any of these warranties. And the last thing on here is date code on the tools and batteries. Uh, you'll see on the right hand side, on the lower right hand side, I have attached a picture that shows the model number identification, the date code identifier, repair or not affected, uh, which is a huge advantage over the competition. Makita offers a three year warranty on its batteries three-year warranty on its tools. Milwaukee offers a five-year limited warrant manufacturer warranty and a five-year prorated battery warranty. And what that means is if three years into your ownership of that tool and if the battery goes bad, uh, you take it back to the manufacturer. If you registered it, uh, then they will sell you a new battery according to um, how long you had it. Another way that DeWalt sets themselves apart from the competition is that they manufacture the tools in the U.S. Uh, not too many other tool manufacturers can claim the same. And the last thing I would like to talk about is the Wounded Warrior Project, uh, which was started in 2013. Uh, DeWalt is uh, supporting 
the Wounded Warriors uh, and donating $250,000 a year uh, when customers buy certain uh, tools that are labeled uh, Wounded Warrior uh, tools. A proceed of that money goes to the Wounded Warriors project. And I have a short video here that you can see. To our wounded warriors, for all you have given us, in body, in mind, and in spirit, we salute you and thank you for your service, your sacrifice, and your bravery. Military service doesn't end when service members return home. Every day, American veterans suffer from injuries, both visible and invisible. DeWalt has partnered with Wounded Warrior Project and will donate a minimum of $250,000 this year from sales of our co-branded DeWalt Wounded Warrior Project tools. It's our way of saluting some of our nation's greatest heroes. To our Wounded Warriors, you are not alone. You've had our back. And now we have yours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time.